Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzCastNetwork.com for details. Hey everybody, it's Liam and Big Al live from the Forest of Dreams and this is The Bad Cast. <laughs> Oh, Liam, it's w- <laughs> what a sight Adelaide has got. We've got uh, some guy over there who, oh, he just looks like a chicken foraging for food, to be honest. <laughs> he's uh, he's jumping and crashing the leaves uh, yeah. as yeah. a child <laughs> might in, in a playful mode. He's like the old gardener from your high school, isn't he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this guy's carrying a bit of a, his tranny radio with him, and yep. he's uh, just walking around as one might, you know. Yeah. So, uh, the Forest of Dreams... We, haven't, we haven't introduced our, uh, the, the person oh. we just bumped, we, you know, we, we're in the Forest of yes. Dreams, and we'll yes. talk about where we are in a second, guys, yep. but we bumped into none other. The, oh. the man that doesn't need any introduction whatsoever, Mr. Attitude, the Attitude Consultant. Wow. Oh, round of applause Thank here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Wow. So uh, we did, it was just actually supposed to be just Liam and I, and we just saw you on the park bench. Yeah, yeah I just uh, thought I'd crash it. I'm like, hey, guys, can I be on it again? <laughs> yeah. I, I stalked you. I stalked you on uh, on GPS. I'm like, oh, the bad cast just checked in. Sure. I didn't think my anklet was working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. We're... <laughs> So we're in this place, it's the, called the Forest of Dreams here in the middle of Adelaide. Um, it's a park, it's parks, I guess. It's a, it's a well, it's four parks, isn't it? four parks. Not yeah. the uh, four park themes, you know, where you come along and go, oh, let's get a four park <laughs> super pass. I, I reckon well, I've uh, yeah. dragged you out of the gutter about three times, Bigsy. You were cuddling a possum yep. uh, at one stage. <laughs> you was scratching you at the time as well. Uh, Stop it, Scratchy! Uh, but it's, uh, I, I saw a park bench and went, oh, geez, I've, uh, I've woken up on there many, many a times. <laughs> because uh, Egan, who runs Adelaide Comedy, he used to live just off of the Forest of Dreams, and then the servo would ov- obviously uh, be open 24 hours. So, <laughs> endless supply of beautiful sausage rolls and pies and anything that you can get your, your laughing year round. And the amount of times I'd wake up with a squash pie in my pocket. <laughs> squash pie in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> they must have a two-for-one, two because they'd have a squash pie in my pocket and then have it a half-eaten sausage roll. Yeah. Like yeah. just laying down next to it. Yeah, I, I know what it's like. You know, you're, you're lying around, you wake up, there's bits of euro stuck to your face, and, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. just fucking out of control. But for the people who aren't from Adelaide, how, would, how do we describe this place? Like, what, what, could you, what can you guys see right now? It's a square for starters. Don't we? yeah, We're is. breaking it up into squares. So Adelaide is pretty much like a grid. Yep. So uh, can you name the four squares? <laughs> I don't. I don't know the names of all the ones from Barely Audible either. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because you left that wide open, and I was just <laughs> silent. <laughs> Out of respect and nervousness. <laughs> that we've got uh, we've got Hurdle Square, which is the Forest of Dreams. We've yep. got uh, High Marsh Square. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got Light Square. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I just I can't remember the the last Victoria one. Victoria Square. Oh, Victoria Square, the, the main one. one. The Fuck main me, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. How did I fuck that up? It's the name of our queen. <laughs> Just an update on the, the chicken man. He's still going around stepping on leaves with yeah. his tranny radio. He's yeah. got a durry now, though. So Just an update. Oh, Carry on, guys. He, Sorry. He, yeah. he found it. Yeah. And it's actually broken down by King William Street, which is named after the great King William. Yes. And none of the roads were able to cross him. So that's why when you got the horizontal streets, when they hit King William, they changed names. Yeah, right. Okay. So there's a random fun fact. Mm. Oh, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't know that. So that's why Greenfield turns into Peary. Yes. Nobody crosses. Crosses yes. King William. Yeah, That's right. right. You know, you don't do that. I just thought it was a bit like my uncle who uh, turned in <laughs> at after eight <laughs> and walks around with a tranny radio. Wait a minute, is that? Wait a. You sure you don't uh, want to go and give um, him a hug? Oh. I don't know. There's more empty cans over here. I don't know what he's doing over there. Oh, that's so, uh, that's my inheritance. <laughs> in, a, in a place like this, you might find some a, a few hobos. Yep. Uh, you'll find yep. uh, you know people coming and going through the centre of the city. But well, there's um, a pub on one quarter as well. There is. Yeah. There there's is. quite a few apartments. The yes. Cooper's Ale House, Big Al. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, not just a pub. It's a real cracker. Um, in fact, we bought some Cooper's beer 
from that particular yeah. ale house. Yes, and they're famous for the giant schnitzel, I believe. Do they still do the giant one kilo schnitzel? The old oh, that was hanger. a giant one, was it? Yeah, it was a giant one. <laughs> it's not just a one kilo, it's a giant one kilo. So, Rowan, we've seen, we found you out here in the forest of dreams. What were you uh, doing, where, mate? Where anything can happen. I've got and swag for you, boys. Sorry, oh, to, sorry to cut you off there. No, 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 no what, so what's, what's swag? What have I missed the new here? terminology? Oh, or? my Lord. What have we got here? That's oh, the, my uh, God. I have promised you one of these calendars. This is the oh, Rowan, wow. Harry and Miley Cyrus. This is, this is a bit of because I actually don't have a calendar for work. I don't have one either. Do you sure you're not going to freak out your co-workers with this one, though? Or? Uh, no, no, I'll <laughs> after they leave. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. But oh, I won't wow. bore the listeners with it. Because wow. This, he's given us, so the Attitude Consultant's given us a oh, wow. Rowan oh, Harry wow. and Miley Cyrus um, these are These are actually And he's got cigarettes. Matches. That's fucking cool, actually, isn't it? Because that guy's still looking for a fucking lighter. <laughs> Is that what he's digging around with a stick for? <laughs> Holy fucking wow. shit. Wow. Oh, someone went Now, now uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So let me, let's just go through some of the stuff we've got in this calendar from uh, Rowan Harry, the Attitude Consultant. Now, it's, of course, it's a calendar. Yeah. And now I guess there's a, a, a range of photographs of Rowan and Miley in yeah. the same frame, shall we say? Yeah, the same frame. Like, are, are these photoshopped? Because they don't look it. No, he's, he, he is tight with they Miley, are, dude. Come they on. Are, yeah. yeah, you're right. <laughs> I actually like the size of the calendar as well. It's not one of those big, annoying size ones. I can actually work with this. That's what I you thought. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I thought. Because uh, well, I've got to return to the that. Jedi one for home, and it almost <laughs> takes up the whole fucking wall. <laughs> Like it's it's massive. That, that put, is that, that is back, brilliant, just, mate. Yeah, just no to, worries. Just to look after it while we podcast. Oh, I, I love it. So yeah, and so these are little stickers. Yeah, you can put them on your your skateboard or your school diary or something. They're, it's old school. So yeah. he's got some. So where can listeners who yeah. are attitude consultant fans, where the fuck can they get this? This swag, this merch, dude. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Right. Okay. It's very limited. I reckon we leave one on one of these park benches. Mm. That's a great idea. I have been. Yeah. Um, well, I haven't been leaving them personally, but I've been delegating other people to leave them in various places. I'm yep. not going to lie to you. I've taken a stack into yeah. state. And, yeah, right. Uh, look, they're out there. All I can say is uh, they're out lifts. there. Lifts. If you go into a lift, yeah. uh, always, you know, on the roof. Yeah. Uh, you know, car parks and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Mm. Perfect place because they stay yeah. there forever. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. totally. Absolutely. It's, yeah, it's important just to put, put yourself out there just to... To throw Free it advertising, out there. you Abs- know. Yeah, absolutely. Why I buy mean- a billboard when you can stick something to shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, still a uh, bit of an update on that guy. Uh, now he's, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if he works for the cancer, maybe he's undercover cancer worker. Sure, sure. But he's going around pulling out weeds. Okay. He's, he's, so he's, he's community minded. Yep. Have we got a name for him yet? I was uh, calling him Chicken what Man. About was call- what about Russell? What about Russell? Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> rustling around in the leaves. <laughs> It's so obvious, so obvious. <laughs> I was going to get him three corner jack. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, like Russell because that is exactly what he's doing. It's a name he's, and a description. He's pulling yeah, out an adjective weeds in a public park. And I, that's I, I what respect I was for. that. So I think that is. <laughs> failed English. That's, that's civic duty, really. That's, right. is, that's how it? I see it. Has anyone checked to see if there is actually an anklet bracelet on there? Because um, I'm just wondering if, because there are two other people on the park bench that could be their parole officer. I'm not going to get too close <laughs> to him. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, maybe only because be. that music he's playing is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, he's it insane. And we, we, yeah. we could be done for... Uh, Copyright. What, that, are the, what, are the view, uh, what are the rules on that? Because if something's playing in the background and you're talking over it, yeah. mm. the, algorith- the algorithms aren't going to pick it up. Well, they can. They, they can? can? Yeah, they can. But on the same token, it's still defensible on some levels, depending on the, your dis- jurisdiction, etc. Yes. But, you know, if the... What about if you sing it really badly? Does that still count? You're just giving yeah. yourself hassles. Like oh, You can right. probably defend it. But you, you know, you can't, you can't trick like Shazam. No, you can't sing. Ah. You can't do it. Parody song? I've tried it. Uh, no, I don't know. You can get away with so much with the parody clause. Like, I didn't even know what that means. But when I did Centrelink the musical, I had mm. quite a few people trying to threaten to sue me. Mm. And I just referenced the parody clause and they yeah. left me alone. Yeah. But it was on through MySpace. You've so. got to argue. You've got to be able <laughs> to argue that it was kind of <laughs> was incidental. Was it Tom? <laughs> You could argue it was incidental and not stolen, but yes. uh, that's getting pretty boring now, really, isn't it? But the thing yeah. is that people, people who care? wanted to sue you were on Centrelink and they couldn't afford mm. to fucking get a lawyer. Well, that's that's the that's or was the funny it legal thing. aid? It wasn't even either of. It. I just denied it, and like it was bogus. I just got all these bogus cases, 
And I'm like, I own a fucking bong and an, and an Alf doll and a Nintendo 64. In that order. Is it a nice bong, though? <laughs> <laughs> it's an Alf bong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, looky, looky. There was a great Silicon Valley episode, the um, <laughs> Silicon Valley series on HBO. There was an episode of this legal troll yeah. that would pretty much... See, I totally got that because I thought it was Silicon Valley. The reason I haven't watched it, I thought yeah. it was the adventures of two fake breasts. <laughs> Ah. Like Twin Peaks. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, of course, and of course the bad cast very early on in its days yep. had a bit of a copyright situation attitude consultant. Did you know about this? No. No, All tell right, me more. So we have talked about it in previous episodes, but mm. who fucking listens to those, man? You know I know. I mean? yeah. My mum actually does. Uh, yeah, I do as well. That's pretty embarrassing, actually. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. um, we had a, a Facebook page, as many a podcast does. Mm. Right? Yes. And I took a photo, and the photo went really viral. And some yeah did the old copy paste and taking credit for it. Yep. There you go, everybody. Lesson learned. Put a fucking watermark on your shit. First thing, right? Second. Then it got once it got sh- you know shared around. It was the fucking horse had bolted, man. It, oh, no. it, it had millions or something like seven million views. It was featured on a whole bunch of front. It was in pages. the Daily UK. Yeah, it was on it all was, these newspapers. Yeah, like- Facebook page everywhere, and stuff. Man. Yeah. yeah, everywhere. And so, and I was getting, I didn't, I was kind of in and out of internet. And I was getting angry and you're angrier. And people yeah. were tagging you in it. Like, yeah. hey, Liam, this is heaps funny. That yeah. fucking, yeah, That's but, actually mine. How fuckers. annoying. That's yeah. why I steal photos and then watermark them afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> hey, fellas. I'm That's what bit, you got to do, man. I'm getting a bit thirsty. Do you want to take our uh, official drinks? Yes, yeah, so, oh, please. I, I think so. I'm and also, Chicken Man's on his way over here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> This beer break was proudly brought to you by Captain Snack, the ultimate food van for your next event. Enjoy beef, lamb and pork gourmet sausages in a fluffy white bun with your choice of coleslaw, caramelised onion, shredded cheese and diced bacon, plus your favourite sauces or mustard. It doesn't get any better than that. If you want Captain Snag to come to your next event, get in contact at captainsnag.com. Now, back to the boys. Drinks break is over. Um, we're still here in the forest of dreams, everybody. Now, does that sign say uh, drinking is prohibited? Uh, where, where's that? I can't oh, on see the it. other side. No, no, it's I okay. can't <laughs> see it. No, yeah. <laughs> Just an update on our friend uh, who's doing a bit of gardening in the public park, which good on him for doing that, I might say, because uh, nobody else is going to do it. Mate, I would even uh, do the weeds at fucking home, and he's doing it. He is. He's, 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 he's like a. It is the chicken style, though. He's not going in for you know. I'm looking around for the cameras, like undercover accounts will work. Yes, so anyway, uh, <laughs> apart from that, uh, uh. attitude consultant is joining us here in the uh, forest of dreams. It's like the Wizard of Oz, uh, fantasy land that we are here in yeah. right now. I, um, can we uh, can we talk about you uh, being able to have a wank? Oh, oh, that's right. We did discuss that during see, the beer break. Dreams can come true. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I, I successfully smacked out a wank the first one in five years. Yeah, wow. cheers, cheers, mate. Yeah, well cheers to that. Mate, that is fantastic. Because yeah. yeah. I, uh, I kept it to myself. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I, I pretty much slept for two days afterwards. It was that good. Satisfying. It was sa- satisfying. And then I just brought it up casually in conversation. I'm like, oh, by the way, um, baby... I just had my first successful wank, and she got really excited and gave me the high five, and then, and then she kind of stopped at that moment of, oh, what, what was he thinking about? <laughs> and, then she goes, and then she goes, oh, what were you thinking about? And then she stops herself and says, wait, wait, I don't want to know. And I said, it's okay, it wasn't Miley Cyrus. Oh. <laughs> you should have said, what I was thinking about was I was thinking about wanking again. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole idea just got me so hot. Yeah, damn. Uh, but I, I wasn't actually. I wasn't actually thinking of anything. Like my mind was just too busy focusing on coming, like it had been from the last five years. It was just that motor reg. Like, yeah. What made you think? What was what was oh, the yeah, thing that made you realise you could do it? Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> what made you think you could do it after so long? You know what I mean? Like what was the you know what was the? It, it was a residual wank after like we took Viagra the night before. Uh, so it was that kind of like afterwards, like it's still kind of rock hard. Right. But I just dropped. How long does it stay hard for? Whole, you know, on a Viagra run. On a Viagra could work about twelve hours, but they say Back like now. maybe three to four. But for so me, your hammer's just the going the whole time, basically. Yeah, but the, for the period. Well, no, it's not like people have a that. A three-hour bonus still is a three-hour bonus. Yeah, people yeah. seem to think that you take Viagra and it's automatically hard. You still have to think about it. It's still uh, a thought process. Ah, oh, right, okay. Like it just. Yeah, so I it's mean, not like you know you take the missus to the beach and she hangs her fucking beach towel on it, <laughs> no, and she goes like for that. a swim. 
<laughs> like you still, <laughs> you still need to be. <laughs> there needs to be arousal. You still need to be aroused. Uh, yes, yeah. and then yeah. what? And then when that happens the first time, yeah. then it just stays there. Is it? Is that? Is that how it works? Once it's there, it's, it's like. There. Well, no, no. It's, it stays there longer. Right, so okay. you can. So it's not so a three-hour boner per se. No, it's a window. Yeah, it's 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 a window. Okay. So, so can you get it up throughout that twelve-hour period? A boner that window. You want? Well, no, that's the thing. Like after pretty much after I uh, yeah, dropped my cookies, so to speak. Yeah. There was uh, you know that <laughs> refractory period you get that little five to fifteen minute refractory period yeah. where it'll go soft and it's all like oh I'm a, I've just done my deed I'm gonna have a nap before you you can. Yeah, that would go maybe 48 hours. Jesus. So, oh. yeah, it was like, oh, come on, you bastard. And I'm like, so what are you saying? Like, you can, you can, you can store, the, store the boner time. If you, if you decide not to have a boner yeah. for a period, does that rack up like a phone bill style? Yeah. And you can have a boner later? You or can, do you fat- need you can to- fatigue boner. So okay. once you fatigue boner, yep. it takes a long time to get it back up again. Yeah, right. okay. Is yeah. it like a cramp? Like when you get the cramp <laughs> and then it finally goes away, but at any moment it keeps niggling at you like it could happen again at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> Does it ever? Please not in the toy department. Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. Does it ever happen when you don't want it? No, no, no. Because you're well, hugging to... Nana. Because <laughs> it's, it's your th- it starts with your brain. Time when my spinal injury was that bad that I could get a boner, but only if I had Viagra and was touched in a certain way, and my missus stuck it. Right. right. You needed it. Yeah, like it was right. a. Okay. It was okay. a touch process. But right. now three, it's three that point, point touch process. <laughs> 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 Math. <Yeah. laughs> In a way, though, it's a superpower. If you're, it's a superpower. Yeah. If you live in a nudist colony where boners are prohibited, right? Oh, right. Much. are they really? I think so. Uh, how does that work? Viagra, you can join our colony. Yeah. It means you can go freely in any nudist colony. It or can, Maslin's Beach, for that matter. Yeah, it can get you out of awkward situations. Like I did a, I did a feature film last year, and there was a sex scene, which was simulated sex. So I'm just down in my jockeys and this cougar, right? And like um, not an actual cat, though. No, no, not a, not a cat, <laughs> not a vicious cat, okay. like a, like an el- like an an elderly woman. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Okay. But but the good thing yeah. about that. <laughs> But the good thing about it is what I didn't get that unwanted hard on. It just would have... But a part of me just said, like, I kind of want to compliment her efforts at the same time. Like, yeah, that yeah. was a really good scene. Maybe you deserved a, maybe just a little bit of an applause or a boner applause. Yeah, yeah. But because of the spinal injury, I couldn't do it. And it made it completely less awkward. So I could yeah, just really right. get into the character. And But one of the buttons uh, that did get pressed uh, was when she yelled out, Bingo! And then went... <laughs> <laughs> you just won the jackpot, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was all, it was, yeah. it was d- dark times, boys. <laughs> Miley Cyrus addiction. So um, just caught in this Miley world, doing this sex oh. scene with this movie. Yeah, right. Oh, so did you make her wear a Miley mask? No, <laughs> that not done it. <laughs> I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this. No, uh, no, that would have been awesome. So anyway, uh, apart from that, <laughs> today I've officially registered the Attitude Consultant as a business. Oh, so that's awesome, mate! Cheers. This is a celebration oh, podcast. Brilliant. That is fantastic. Fancy. Yeah. Congratulations, mate! Thanks, mate. And so, what uh, industry sectors are you going to be targeting? I pretty much haven't thought about it. I've just been marketing the shit out of it. Sure, sure. And don't even know what the product is yet. So I'm kind of finding that as I go along. I like that. It's fun working the other way around. And what yeah. better place to be than yeah. the forest of dreams to uh, well, this to is, dream up a great business idea? This is where this is where the dreams happen, Liam. Mm. This is you could seed your next idea. It's where the dream has happened, and also some of the public urinations. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just some dreams. Well, I had dreams last year, but that didn't happen because uh, my dream was to get to a certain goal weight, and then I watched The Biggest Loser, and the guy's first weigh in was actually at my goal weight. (laughs) 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 Do you want to, like, tell us what the top top number was? Uh, (laughs) Yeah, I'd like to get to 120. Get to 120. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it was just like, oh, fucking hell. Mm. He's already won in my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I've just been just late, lately for me. Uh. I'm just thinking like I'm I'm fucking middle aged. Like mm. when w- like I'm what people would consider old now. Well, and I still people. feel like that 23-year-old that was just getting yeah. fucking laid every night and waking up in the forest of dreams I don't drunk. know which 23-year-old oh. you're talking about, brother, but, you know, anyway, <laughs> yeah. never mind. Or, or you, know, um, you yeah. know, you're getting older when uh, parents go, ask the man nicely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when they call you a man yeah. Yeah, in front of children, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. That's the man that did it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. It's tough times. It's tough. Fucking and I'm, go- I'm going to be our uncle, uh, man. Like, hey, oh, congratulations, yeah, yeah, no, mate. Thanks. That's good. In, Fantastic. Um, in March. It's found out it's it's big news for the Harrys. Very good. So I was surprised. I thought my daughter wouldn't be one to um, to breed because she's a, she's a school teacher. And a wait, 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 wait. You, you just said daughter. You said daughter and, and also... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a I'm just cutting that Freudian slip. I'm just doing the math on that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Just repeat to me again. Just repeat. Fucking hell. Microphone cheers, Miguel. Just repeat to me. Repeat to me for one minute what I said and then I'll amend that. I was surprised. I thought my daughter wouldn't be one... To um to breed because she's a she's a school teacher. No 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 no! <laughs> I can't believe my Are you sister. To Tasmania. <laughs> Is this some kind of? No cult? no no! I'm so obviously that no. first wank work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's just correct it. That was a Freudian slip. Fuck sure, you, my sure. sister. Right. I didn't think my sister would be the one to to have a kid, but she she is. And like when she told us when she announced it to the family, I just broke down and cried. Beautiful. Oh, like, that was is a beautiful. beautiful feeling. So, what made you feel that she wasn't, you know, just more of a girl? <laughs> <laughs> I think on that note, I don't think I can say anything else to that. Hey, uh, this has been the bad cast, everybody. Uh, Hang on. Check out uh, the Attitude Consultant. Uh, do you want to give your plugs for your uh, for the Attitude Consultant, Rowan? Do I do I have any plugs to give? No, I've just taken a few weeks off to do some writing because I'm working on the Adelaide Podcast Festival. Well, 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 indeed. Yes, maybe you want to talk about that, Liam. Adelaide Pod- Podcast mm. Festival coming up 27th and 28th of February. In Adelaide at the Elephant British Pub should be a good night. I think uh, a few of us guys will be there. All yeah. right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, thanks very much to our special uh, Forest of Dreams guest, Rowan, the Attitude Consultant. Uh, Biggie, uh, we'll catch you next time, as always. And also check out the Ozcast Network, ozcastnetwork.com. Heaps of cool podcasts to listen to there. Did I say podcast? Like, a, like I'm from like fucking Boston or something. Yeah. Oh, Podcasts. why don't you? Why don't you come along and check out the podcast and have yourself a piece of pie? Yeah. And thanks to Chook Chook as well. Hey, he's done yeah. a wonderful job, yeah, hasn't he? Good on me, Chooky. He's uh, fucking. Hell. <laughs> Just watching him gave me a stitch. It's. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Help us buy more beers and sponsor us. Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, or badcast.com.au. The Badcast is part of the Ozcast Podcast Network. I was surprised. I thought my daughter wouldn't be one to um, to breed because she's a, she's a school teacher. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzcastNetwork.com for details.